Hey, what's up, y'all? And of course, welcome back to another Alternative Factuals video. So happy new year. Um, yes, I just had to take a little break, get my mind right, because I have a lot of things going on in my life, a lot of which is very, very, very good. Um, some choices I decided to make, you know, being a young adult that, you know, just had to contemplate. But enough of that, you know, I'll get into details about stuff like that, you know, as I kind of make this schedule to, uh, you know, accommodate you guys. But I want to start off the new year um, with something completely brand new. Now, I didn't, um, I know I promised that I would jump into Blue Marvel first for this video, but some news or some new things are coming out actually, uh, well, technically by the time this video comes out, it'll be uh, yesterday. But besides that, I'll follow the schedule that I said I would where I put out something a week in advance and, you know, basically ask you guys what you want to see. So today I want to talk about the new TV show on the CW, which happens to exist in the DC universe, which exists within the, I believe the hour verse as well, or one of the multiverses. And that's Naomi McDuffie, also known as Powerhouse. Now, for a lot of people who don't know us, uh, she basically is published, like I said, by DC Comics, and the character was created by Brian Michael Bendis. So essentially, you know, one of the OGs in DC Comics, obviously Brian Michael Bendis does have a pretty good reputation, even though some of his stories can be a little iffy, but for the most part, his Superman stories are not too shabby, and uh, it's, 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 it's going to be a solid character, at least we know that, so... But one thing I think that's very cool is uh, her character is actually kind of in tribute, uh, well, to pay tribute to Dwayne McDuffie. Dwayne McDuffie, the OG, the same one who created Static Shock, um, you know, who he was very avid about bringing, you know, black characters to the screen, to the big screen. But before I dive into the details of her character, please be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're feeling. And without further ado, let's kind of just dive into, uh, let's just dive into this. So, um, all right. So Naomi made her first appearance in 2019. So she's a relatively new character. Um, 2019, obviously I remember 2019 cause it was just only a couple years ago, uh, literally before the pandemic. So she's a brand new character, fresh out. She's only a couple years old, but her first appearance was actually in Naomi number one, March, 2019. Like I said, uh, created by Ryan Michael Bendis, David F. Walker and Jamal Campbell. Now she's defined as a meta human and she actually has team affiliations with young justice and the justice league. So we already know where this is kind of going. Now her ability is usually consist of superhuman strength, superhuman durability, flight, and energy manipulation and projection. Now, this may be, you know, quinky dink, but I do notice that a lot of African American characters or black characters usually tend to fall in the energy manipulation, you know, kind of category when it comes to powers for a lot of different black characters. Now, I'm not saying they do that on purpose per se, but I do recognize a pattern. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, I'm going to give you the origin of her character where essentially, uh, you know, in an alternate universe in the DC multiverse, um, there was basically a breakdown of the Earth's ozone layer and it exposed quite a bit of the Earth to like this unknown radioactive energy, which caused about like 29 or 30 people, I believe, to actually have uh, developed godlike powers. Some of these people sought to kind of be criminals, be, you know, jerks to like, you know, the human race naturally is. But then some of these people actually did not want this to happen. So they went to war and uh, eventually some of these people were killed. And essentially what happened is Naomi was one of the children. Well, one of the first children to be born from these people who had godlike abilities from this whole cosmic radiation and all that stuff. But there was a metahuman who actually developed their powers um, in conjunction with everybody else who got those godlike powers at a later point who sought to kill Naomi because, you know, he was just being evil and probably saw that she was a threat to what he wanted to do. And I think his name was um, Zumbado, who was um, basically about to be executed right when his powers kind of kicked in. But essentially, she arrived in like this Oregon town where she kind of has this Superman kind of origin, gets in his Oregon town. And um, this ex-soldier, uh, Greg McDuffie, adopted her. Thus, she lived a fairly ordinary life until her powers kind of kick in in the TV show. So 
they knew for the most part that uh you know she obviously wasn't a part of the family that maybe something was different but also the wife of mcduffie the actual father um also had very interesting secrets about him which i think is what's going to cause a lot of the conflict in the show where you know she's going to want to know who she is and then the father knows things and the wife doesn't know things there's going to be a lot of conflict in the family due to the secrets that he may or may not have but nonetheless this is essentially the story of how she came to be now what am i expecting from this dc tv show now one it's another black tv show because they got rid of black lightning for very corny reasons but you know i've already done plenty of videos about that but in this kind of story i kind of want to see not only a well-written black female character which i think it has potential because based on what i saw from the trailer it looks like it's well shot they put a lot of funding behind it it looks just as good as superman when it comes to the cinematography and pretty much the uh, dynamics of how things look so that already has a plus but i want to kind of understand or kind of hope to understand like a little bit more about her character in terms of i hope they actually take the time to really expand on it now her character is fairly new so she's not like superman she's not like batman she's not like a few other characters not even black lightning where they have previous history in the dc universe so they have you know more to work with per se but in a lot of ways it gives this show a lot of freedom to make different choices that can potentially become canon in comic books because of the fact that a lot of this stuff has not been written yet you know she's really new she's only a couple years old well probably like what three or four years old as of now so it's going to be a pretty interesting ride you know she has a lot of potential based on her powers and what she's capable of and uh depending on the totality and extent in which she can manipulate energy she can be an extremely powerful hero on the planet earth but we're gonna have to see that in the tv show when we get a chance to uh i'm recording this actually today you know during the time the show is going to be coming out but i know this video is going to come out tomorrow or you know whenever you decide to see this obviously but i can't wait to see what they're going to do with the tv show i don't want to keep it off for so long i don't want to keep chatting you know if i don't have anything else to say let me know in the comments down below what you think about her character did you enjoy the first episode um did you really uh do you really want to know more about her character do you want to go um on a weekly basis and kind of talk about the uh um kind of about the show and kind of what develops along the, the course of the first season let me know and i hope to see y'all later on peace out